Good morning everyone. That is a complete and utter lie. It is the afternoon. <laughs> we have had such a lazy day today that I feel like I'm losing track of time. But um, we got back from Ireland sort of yesterday evening and we instantly, instantly lit the fire because it is very, very blustery here still in the UK. We're kind of like on the back end of um, Storm Eunice. And to be honest, I was really nervous about coming home because I wanted to make sure that my greenhouse was obviously all intact. And thankfully, it seems to be fine. <laughs> I haven't actually been out there and inspected, but I've looked from Ali's office window because I just don't want to be outside at the moment. And I feel like today is very much one of those kind of chilled lazy days as I know I do so many of because at weekends I just feel like a cozy sloth basically because it's just that weather at the moment this is the thing between um Christmas and spring the weather's quite miserable you don't see a lot of sun and I think that that's why it makes this time of year quite hard because um the lack of sunshine is quite like what's the word I think it gets you down a little bit but we've obviously been trying to make sure that we've got things booked in to look forward to like our trip so it's not actually been that bad for us but I can understand when maybe you are going th not going through something difficult but if you think back to last year we were sorry you can hear Porter chewing on one of his uh chews but if you think back to last year we had sort of kicked off well now we probably were well into the first phase of our renovation and the floor was up in here um it was it was quite hectic we had obviously a new puppy and um this weather really just kind of compounded things so i've learned from my mistakes luckily we're not kicking things off now but we do have our presentation next week which is oh i'm just so so excited um it's going to be really really good and of course I will film everything but we're just kind of getting back into the groove of things at home getting through the washing seeing the puppy dogs we've moved their beds into the kitchen i don't know if i told you this but um porter kind of patrols not patrols but i think he thinks that he needs to secure the house and so um we're trying to change that with just having his bed in here so that his base is not necessarily him patrolling the cat flap and the front door but as you can see these two very much enjoy snuggling up together now, which makes me very happy. Porter still needs his space, so if he comes up and wants to get on my lap and, and Barkley gets in his schnoot a little bit too much, he doesn't particularly, he doesn't get grumpy or anything, he just backs off. He's a bit of a softie, isn't he? And so is Barkley. Uh, Lumi, I think, is in the office with Ali just chilling. She's just had some lunch as well. Barkley's just had some lunch. Porty doesn't have lunch because he only eats twice a day because we were feeding him three times a day and he started to get a little bit of a porky porty. But he loves these puppy chews, so we buy them in bulk for both of them. This little one is snoozing soundly. So yeah, I just wanted to catch up really. Obviously I am still a brunette. I'm scheduled in tomorrow, which will be all in another video. So I'll link, if it's already out when this video goes live I will link it in the description box down below because it's kind of something that I'm documenting separately but I actually haven't found like I'm feeling too dark even though I know I prefer being brighter and lighter I know I have to go through this process so it's not so bad I have arrived home to some really really lovely deliveries and I thought that it would be quite nice to go through them with you because um, some of these I showed on my stories on Instagram and I know that a lot of you really liked them so I'll, I thought I would show you some of them that have, have arrived now because it gets me very very excited. First up was my order from Aurora Home. If you don't know Aurora Home is like a just a beautiful curated homeware store. I always find that they are the first to have the most beautiful things and lots of people tend to copy what she gets but um, she's just honestly amazing and she styles everything so well. These candlesticks were something that I was really, I wasn't expecting them to be as incredible as they are. I had been on the hunt for some sort of vintage looking candlesticks and honestly sometimes finding the right antique can take a very, very long time. Whereas these are the perfect rustic tablescape candlestick that I am looking for. So I bought two sets of these. Then for the greenhouse, I purchased this uh, soil scoop, which um, is gonna be very, very handy. I actually use an antique 
kind of bucket thing. So this actually matches it quite well. You okay, Lumi? Want to go outside? She's very upset about the storm. And then these are some perfect aged terracotta little potted candles. They've got citronella in them, so they're generally meant to be for outside, but I also think they will work really well on our table in here when we have the doors open in summer or spring. Because everyone always says to me, Lydia, how do you stop the bugs coming in? It goes in phases each year. I think it comes with the crop cycles, but sometimes there are more bugs than others. And just generally, I embrace the fact that we live in the countryside and there are bugs, and I don't let that stop me from having the doors open, but I do like to ensure that um, the bugs are, are kind of cleared up and we're trying to at least prevent them, although it's not always that simple. So these are the bits that I ordered from Aurora Home. I also picked up two books. One that I picked up at the airport, this is The Four Winds. It was advertised on like an electronic screen in Waterstones and I was sat waiting outside Waterstones and I just got completely like hooked into it. So I went in and bought it there and then it says moving and unforgettable. One of the things that's a powerful, stirring, windswept story that makes your heart break and soar in equal measures. That's from uh, Matt Haig. I thought, I'm probably going to love this. And then this I, um, but I bought off the recommendation of um, English with Lucy. She popped it on her stories and I just thought it would be a fun read because I've never ever studied anything about et etiquette and I certainly didn't go or like learn any of that kind of thing um, growing up. And it is something that fascinates me. So this says the motiv motivation behind the manners. And I just love the idea of learning a little bit more about it. I wish it was on Audible, because I can imagine that this book would be the type of book that I would love to listen to rather than read, but it's not on Audible, so I am. I think tonight, in front of the fire, this is what I'm gonna curl up with initially. And then I'm going to go on to this one, hopefully when I finish this. See, this, I think this is, I've picked a good book here. It is 1934 and Elsa Martinelli has finally found the life she yearned for. A family, a home and a livelihood on a farm on the Great Plains. But when drought threatens all that she and her community hold dear, Elsa's world is shattered into the winds. Fearful of the future, Elsa is forced to make the hardest decision of her life fight for the land she loves to take her beloved children west to California in search of a better life. Will it be the land of milk and honey she expect, expects, or will their experience challenge every ounce of strength that they possess? So I think that sounds like it's gonna be really good. Obviously I can't vouch for it, but I am looking forward to it. The other thing that arrived, which is so much more beautiful in person, I actually, I can't cope, hold on. Get out of the way boys, big one coming through. So if you saw in my, um, come shopping with me in Chipping Norton, I went to go to the Osborne Interior shop. I followed her for absolutely years. She basically lives in the holiday cottage, which is just a bit iconic. You would have seen it all over Instagram. It's probably one of the most photographed homes in the Cotswolds. And she's an interior designer, hence why her house is as beautiful as it is. <laughs> and she's basically got that blend of kind of like modern uh, country Cotswolds living, which is really lovely. But I have admired these side table trunks for such a long time. And I think they will be such a nice addition to either a bedroom or the living room. Now, I managed to get one, she kindly sent me one, but I am going to order a second one because I think we're gonna use these either in the living room or in one of the spare bedrooms. I'm not too sure, but I just, absolutely love them. The leather detailing, the, the burnished brass, buckles, there's just, this is just taking a willow kind of wicker basket to another level. And so even when I got home, Ali had opened it and he was like, wow, this is something else. So we're gonna try it around the home, regardless. At the moment, it's just living under the stairs until we find its home and its friend. Next up, I've received a box from a brand that I have been so eager to try. I really hope that the dogs chewing on their toys isn't too distracting. <laughs> it's like having children. Um, this is from Estée Lalonde's um, brand that she launched, I think it was last year, called Mirror Water. And it just seems right up my street. So this is the body exfoliator. I really like the simplicity of the branding. So beautiful. The one, there's one product though that I'm really, really excited about. 
Yes, so this is the Rub Solid Balm. Oh my gosh, I need to smell this. Oh wow, that is not how I expected that to smell. That's really nice, nice and subtle as well. I'm gonna pop some on the back of my hand. Oh, the smell kind of almost intensifies as you rub it in. Oh, that's lovely, really, really lovely. And the texture is beautiful. I'm gonna pop that by my bed so that I can rub it on at night. Oh, it's so balmy. Oh. I think that this is another one that I was actually really, really excited about. Yes. This is the Mirror, Mirror Water Smooth Body Oil. Oh, it's got a seal on it, so I, I can't smell it. I don't want to open it just yet. <laughs> and then we have the Soak Salts. Oh, wow. They smell incredible. Oh. They almost smell similar to my old um, smelling salts that I used to have to like help clear your mind. So sitting in a tub of these salts is gonna be absolutely wonderful. So I'm very, very grateful to Essay for sending me those. Oh, I love it, absolutely love it. And it looks like pretty much everything is recyclable, which is good for us. <laughs> The other delivery looks very exciting. This has come from what I believe to be the crown. It looks like it's got a little bit battered in transit. But Ali and I very much in loved, very much in loved, very much loved the crown series. So I'm hoping this is going to give me some information. You are cordially invited to celebrate the release of the crown season four from the comfort of your home. Ooh. And they have suggested a number of cocktails, although it looks like some of this has got damaged in transit. Oh, this looks like it was from Christmas time. Yes, I think this must have got lost in the post. Sad times. <laughs> so we have what looks like a Buckingham Palace mug. <laughs> Love that. Oh, it looks like something is broken. These are the Cartwright Butler Damarera um, shortbreads. Ibble Dibble Game. And we have some Scottish Heather honey. Ooh, that sounds very nice. That will be okay still, I think. Oh, wow. We also have the crown season four on. Is this on DVD? Do we still do DVD? Out now to own on Blu-ray and DVD. Interesting. So I'm guessing we've already watched season four, but if we wanted to go back, we could watch it. But I think that this one sadly got lost in the post. <laughs> oh dear. And finally, I've been sent the newest release from Kinfil, which you'll know I'm a huge, huge fan of Kinfil as a brand. I think they make the best cleaning fragrances on the market and they've sent me their yoga mat cleaner which I'm going to definitely use I live down in the gym I wonder what it's I bet it smells all it smell all lavendery oh pine nuts interesting should we have a whiff yoga mat cleaner oh lovely Oh, you can definitely smell the pine as well. I love it. Oh, love it, love it, love it. I, I just love everything they do. So those are a few bits that arrived whilst I was away. I'll link everything in the description box down below, of course, because, you know, if you want to shop anything, I'll always put it down there if I can. I'm going to have some lunch as well now because um, we've obviously indulged whilst we've been away and... We have obviously been sticking at these KBK meals, which have made such a difference and also put into perspective how off we were with our portion sizes so uh, we pay for these by the way it's not a collaboration but they just do such good food and it's not really marketed as like like gym food which i find a lot of them are this is just really incredible quality it's like farm to fork kind of style 
and also like chef prepared. So it's all really, really tasty stuff. And we've noticed such a difference. It's unbelievable. Like I'm not, I'm not actively trying to lose weight. I want to tone up. And so I've noticed that everything is a lot more toned, um, but also that things are fitting better. Like my old stuff that is fitting better. So just this small change to like how we do lunches and dinners for the most part. Obviously we're still cooking and learning different recipes and stuff like that, but this has worked really well. Red Thai chicken curry. Oh, I don't know what one. I think I'm having a chicken curry. <gasps> so good. This is the chosen meal of choice. I think it was a Thai green curry. It smells absolutely incredible. I might add a little bit of salt, but other than that, this is my lunch. Porter is currently stuck to me like glue. Barclay is in front of the fire. And this weather is absolutely crazy. This weather is like, it's like torrential rain out there. I don't even know if Lumi's inside. I hope she is inside. Oh, and if you're wondering why um, the sofa is uncovered, we came back to find that I think this little one had had an accident on the sofa. So that's being washed at the moment, which is fabulous. We've actually never had a single accident on these sofas. So oh, look at this Queen of Sheba. We've piled a bit. Do you know what you are? You're the princess and the pea. I bet if I was to put a pea down there, you'd complain that you could feel it. You are just gorgeous. Just gorgeous. Meanwhile, these two are just being their usual self. Hi, morning. Hi guys. I'm gonna do my best not to get upset. You're probably gonna hear the dogs moan as well. I'm just not gonna get upset because um, it's not it's not that way. It doesn't need to be that way. Obviously, I've had my hair done now, but this is all in another video, so I'm not sure if um, you would have seen that yet. But, oh, for goodness sake, it's just one of those things today. Basically, Lumi is such a sensitive soul. Like, she really is, like, more sensitive than any other cat that I've ever known. Like, she really is. It's one of the qualities that I love about her, because you really know when she, like, needs something or wants something. And so, um... You know, I love the fact that she's sensitive, but it can obviously have its drawbacks as well. And one of the drawbacks is whenever she needs to go to the vet, sadly, it's quite like traumatic for her. So we try and really keep it to a minimum. And we took her to the vets last week because one of the things that we notice and that we know about Lumi is that when she's unwell, she lets us know by, oh, she lets us know by going to the toilet in the house. And so we noticed that she was a little bit kind of distressed looking for places to go to the toilet. So we did what we, we know to do and we took her to the vets. The vets said that they thought it was just behavioral um, and I wasn't there, unfortunately. I wasn't able to be there, which is my biggest frustration because bless Ali, Ali like trusts the professionals, which he absolutely should, but the last time we trusted them, we nearly lost Lumi. So I really wanted to be there to be like, no, no, this definitely isn't behavioral because she's really well behaved and um, this is something else. Anyway, for the past few days, Lumi has been passing blood and we've obviously been like, well, we've been told that this is behavioral. Um, she's clearly like distressed and uncomfortable. I got her something to help with fluted, F-L-U-T-D, which is um, like feline lower urinary tract disease, which is what she's been given before. And you can just, it's just like a supplement. And I got her that, it had rave reviews online, so I just got her that and it looked like it was helping. And then this morning at about five o'clock, bless her, she got up off of her bed. We've covered everything with waterproof blankets, which have been amazing, got them from Amazon. I'll link them down below because genuinely, like they are a game changer. If you have a cat that does that, just to drape things over them. It actually also, we were able to collect a sample for the vets as well, but I, not that that's any use because they've said that they're going to um, sedate her today, which has obviously upset me. It's also my time of the month. So that's probably why I'm quite upset and, and quite sensitive and, and just, but I was crying on the phone to them because I was just basically saying to them, I was like, please, can you start listening to us? I know it must be really, really difficult, but 
First of all, taking her twice to the vets in one week is so unfair on her when this could have been done the day that we brought her in. To bring her again, and for you now to tell, for you now to tell me that you want to sedate her, just it's very, it's very hard. I like it does upset me a lot. You, you guys know what I'm like with my animals, and so I'm just doing my best to to stay positive. Ali has taken her because I unfortunately have a day of back-to-back -back meetings in London, and one of these meetings. I have paid um, a considerable amount for my consultation. It's not a meeting, it's a, it's a consultation. Why am I so blown out? Like, what is with this? Yes, so one of these uh, meetings and consultations that I've got booked is um, I've, I've paid a non-refundable deposit of hundreds of pounds. And so Ali was like, don't worry, I'll take her. It's fine, it's fine, but I really, really want to be there. Oh my gosh, my whole face is like peeling because of retinol. <laughs> So yeah, it's just it's just upsetting me because, you know, I try. I, you think you try and do your best with everything, and I'm really vigilant. And I feel like I'm very in tune with my animals, so that I'm able to help. And it was like the the last time when she had um, pancreatitis or pancreatitis, whatever it's called. I was, you know, I thought there's something wrong. Like she's not right. They kept sending her home. And then it got to the point where, you know, she wasn't even able to stand on her own because her blood had thickened so much that when I took them back, took her back, they were like, how did you let her get like this? And I was like, how did I let her get like this? I brought her to you five times. There's nothing to do with me letting her get like this. You kept, like, I'm, I stressed her so much. Anyway, it's just one of those things that I find really hard that you know, you want to trust the professionals, but I also feel like I kind of have to be a little bit more on the ball as well. But anyway, that's how the day has started. And I just hope that she's, you know, she is susceptible to these. And that was the thing that I was like, you know, she's had one of these before. That was why I was like, again, I don't think it's behavioral because she, she doesn't do this usually and blah, blah, blah. Anyway, fingers crossed, but she's, she's gonna be at the vets all day, which just breaks my heart because I know what she's like. And, I, and especially now with COVID, you know, even though all COVID restrictions are basically gone now here in the UK, our vets for some reason just still won't let you, even when your, your animals are just so distressed, they don't let you go in. And I'm just, yeah. But anyway, so that's how my day has started. However, there, I do have some other exciting news, which um, I think that lots of you will be excited about. Yesterday, I went to a bridal shop and not that kind of bridal shop. It was a horse bridal shop. <laughs> and I picked up some bits for horse riding because the, you, I'm, do, I'm just chatting now to take my mind off of everything. Okay, I hope that's okay. But the universe seems to have aligned for me and I've ended up in a really, really good position, which I'm, I feel very, very lucky. And I still actually can't believe that it's happened, but a friend of Ali's friend has two horses close by and she's offered me the opportunity to loan one of them. Um, and she's also help, offered to help with like teaching me and getting me back confident and setting me up so that I'm able to go out on my own on hacks. And so I am going to be loaning a horse. He is an ex Irish sports horse and he looks a little bit, it's not too, too dissimilar to Meatball, who you met when I went to Ireland, who was the perfect gent. Yeah, I'm, I'm really looking forward to getting back in the saddle tomorrow. So I've got, I've got my bits. I've not gone wild or anything and ordered the Hermes riding hat because I actually went for the more old school riding hat. I like the, what, oh, I just really upset myself. I thought, look. I thought Lumi was coming through the door. And it obviously wasn't because she's at the vet. So usually when she hears me talking, she comes up to um, my dressing room to sit with me. Talk about upsetting myself. It's just definitely been one of those mornings as well because my phone served me this. You can tell it's that time of the blooming month, can't you? Served me this and I sent it to Ali and I was like, how heartbreaking is this? It's literally, it's literally the Backstreet Boys, You Are My Fire, playing over pictures of links. Literally just pictures of links. 
And I was like, oh my gosh, you blooming horrible phone. So yeah, just upset myself then, but I'm trying to, I hope you will join me in allowing me to try and turn my mood around and not be too upset by this. So I'm, I'm, I am going to try and distract myself and just kind of keep my thoughts positive because I'm very lucky that, you know, my Lumi is the only thing that is consuming me at the moment, but I just want to make sure that she's comfortable and happy because she is such a blooming happy cat. <sighs> Anywho, so today I am meeting uh, Lauren. Lauren is the owner of the brand Arvel, who I've been wearing some of the pieces from. So I'm meeting her at Harry's next to Knightsbridge. Then I have uh, a meeting at the Dior pop-up with the Dior team, which is going to be really exciting. And then I have a consultation. And this is the consultation that I have paid for because I have a consultation with Dr. Malucci, who is a plastic surgeon. Because you will know that I have um, ummed and ahed quite a lot over the years about having my uh, implants removed. It's something that I've wanted to do for a couple of years now and I haven't got around to it. I sacrificed the, uh, getting it done last year for my greenhouse. And I think that maybe this year is the year that I'm going to do it potentially because I have noticed first and foremost that it affects my posture because of how prominent they are if I stand straight they are very 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 noticeable so I tend to concave my shoulders which I've noticed is um, starting to affect my back in certain ways but one of the other things I think as I as now like nearly a 34 year old woman oh my gosh 34 I realized that since having them done and especially being on the internet I kind of hoped that it would sort of be um, seen as, you know, a woman that didn't like something about her body, so she changed it to make herself feel more comfortable. However, one of the things that I have struggled with is the way that other people speak about my body online. I'd say I'm quite not sensitive to it. I just don't like the way that it 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 sits with me. If that makes sense, like it's as if people talk as if my body is. A piece of crap because I had implants. It almost makes me feel like people think that I'm like a, an awful person just because I had implants. And I really hoped that I would be the sort of person that um, could maybe change that. I don't think I'm that person. <laughs> I don't think I'm that person. And um, it's just a stigma that I'm, I think that really gets to me. And I, I'm, I'm being completely honest and candid with you about that. It does really get to me because obviously I love my body. My body serves me really well. And just because I decided to make, you know, do something for me to make myself feel more comfortable, it doesn't make it a lesser body than somebody else's. Uh, but I do feel like I felt that way for, for quite some time. But... I guess the good news in that is if you do something for your confidence and it actually turns out making you more self-conscious because I think they're so prominent and they're a little bit too um, perky, <laughs> I'd like them a bit less perky, I obviously it's, it's sort of like, well, I actually feel like I've kind of replaced one insecurity with another because now I'm insecure about how prominent they are. So yes, body, I hear you. So yes, it's it's just a consultation. It's a blooming it's expensive consultation, but it is a consultation. So I'm excited to hear what he's gonna have to say and his thoughts. Oh, I'm trying this perfume called Meadow. Oh, is it Meadow? And this is beautiful, this is Origin. And I really, I was quite intrigued by the packaging because um, it looked quite botanical and planty. And this is absolutely beautiful, absolutely beautiful really great staying power as well so loving that but that is my plan of action for today i hope that you will enjoy coming with me there is also a rodeo dinner this evening that i really want to go to but with lumi coming home i don't know if that's going to be possible so i'm gonna have to play it by ear to be honest but yes yeah, so tomorrow is my first oh i haven't even shown you my hair as well tomorrow is my first day riding with um, Romeo 
and I am really looking forward to it, really, really looking forward to it. I feel very lucky to be in this position that I've, where I've not been able to get into a riding school. I feel like this is gonna be a better option for me anyway because I really wanted to do private lessons. So this is, you know, I'm gonna be sticking with the same horse. I'm not gonna be passed around other horses uh, that maybe I'm not like compatible with because I remember when I used to ride, when I was younger, I always liked the sort of chilled, placid horses and I ended up on the ones that were not so chilled and placid. So yes, so I'm gonna get ready for the day. It is just me going to London today. Sadly, Carrie's not joining me. Fingers crossed for some good news about Lumi. Ali has just messaged me to say that she's been taken in. They are going to sedate her um, and syringe into her bladder and see how she gets on. So not going to get upset despite having one of those days. <laughs> I'm gonna have to apologize to everyone today. Like if I just cry for no reason, just bear with me, okay? <laughs> so funny the way we are with our animals aren't they and I'm, I'm like I'm, li I'm like it about other people's animals as well like if anyone mentions that their pet's ill or whatever Porter is crying because I've taken his uh girlfriend away because he wants to eat the stuffing Porter no no my love <laughs> he makes it sound like he's so hard done by <laughs> I love him so much but yes, so I'm a, I'm a bit of a wet blanket when it comes to uh, animals. And I, I think we all are um, around these neck of the woods. Let's see how it goes. Just hope my little girl's okay and she's not in any discomfort. What I would like to say though, is um, I'm obviously not criticizing our vets. Um, and I said that to them on the phone. I said, I'm just offering some feedback on how I sometimes feel. But I always do find that you guys always have a really unique perspective on things. Sometimes you're vets yourself and you may be like, oh, but Lydia, it's really hard to tell this or this, that and the other. So I am always grateful for you like explaining things to maybe to me that maybe I don't know or understand to a certain extent. Does that make sense? But um, yeah, it's very hard when I, you know, when you feel like you just want to do everything you can and you feel like you can't do more and it still doesn't go the way that you envision it that's kind of where my fr frustrations lie with this it's more that I'm trying to help and I'm like well I can't do anything else so what am I supposed to do so um yes I know Porcini well as you can see the sun is shining in London which is absolutely perfect you can't be in a bad mood in London when the sun is shining I'm obviously trying to distract myself quite a lot with positive thoughts <laughs> although I've been messaging Ali I'm like I miss her <laughs> I wouldn't have been with her today anyway so yeah I just hope she's comfortable I'm heading to Harry's in Knight Knightsbridge now I've got my brace in my bottom brace so I apologize if I'm speaking a little bit funny but um Heading to meet Lauren now, so it should be good. London on a very beautiful day, and we're heading through this lovely door. Oh, it looks so good. <laughs> Good morning everyone, I'm looking a little bit like an egg. Um, I've got my hair in a uh, braid because I'm gonna be outdoors today and it's been very, very wet this morning. I've been trying to vlog for the past two days and every day I've just been here, there and everywhere that I've just not picked up my camera. Yesterday I was in London. So I went for brunch with a girl that I speak to on the internet and it was really lovely. It's such a like lovely way to start the day. And then I went over to the Dior pop-up in Harrods, met with the girls from Harrods, met with the girls from Dior. So anyway, that was then. And then I went for a consultation to um, potentially have my implants removed, um, if that was possible. Uh, it doesn't look like that's gonna be completely possible. We don't know for definite yet, but we're, we're gonna see how it goes. But um, either way, these are going to be changing. There is just, there's a huge part of me that just doesn't feel like this sits right with me as a person 
And so hopefully we're going to be able to um, do something and change it and um, a lot quicker than I imagined because I had my consultation yesterday and it looks like I um, could get in very soon if I wanted to. So I'm having a couple of days to think about it and um, just kind of mull it over because obviously it's a serious, serious thing to go under and have surgery. But it feels worth it. Um, I also know that mine are encapsulated, which makes them even worse because they just kind of like stick there. And it's just, it's just never been what I wanted. Like I wanted to feel just a little bit more like I had something rather than what, what I used to get called a lot of the time was a whippets erection. So that gives you a bit of a complex after a while. So yeah, I'm, I'm still thinking about it. I know you guys have some really, really strong opinions about it. I don't know. I've got to do some thinking, that is for sure. There's actually, this is like a video of big moments. So today, we if you can't hear all of the beeping outside, we actually have our um, like landscape gardeners here to start on the kitchen garden. To start with the little glow up that we're going with, the oak beds, we're introducing um, more plants and um, fencing, not fencing, but like screening. We're putting in a whole uh, home oak uh, screen kind of fence and just general zhuzhing of the kitchen garden to make it a little bit more beautiful. So I'm really, really looking forward to that. They've actually, they were supposed to be starting on the 10th of March and they have, they've like come forward. I love them. They literally exceed my expectations every single time. So we're actually having other areas of the garden designed by them at the moment. Cause I think it's really important to have it designed properly. That's one thing that from having our house designed, I've learned that it's nice to think that I know it all. I don't, <laughs> I definitely don't. So I'm gonna let the professionals do some designing. It'll be obviously my wants, but they'll be designing it. And another exciting thing to um, tell you, and I know that lots of you have been speculating whether I um, am buying a horse. <laughs> I'm not buying a horse yet. <laughs> not yet. That would be a few years down the line, I think. Um, I'm actually going to meet the horse that I'm gonna be loaning today and I'm gonna be riding him for the first time. Hopefully I'll be riding him at the weekend as well, but I'm very, very excited. I went and got my hat fitted the other day and the lady in there was like, oh, you've gone for like the velvet top one. I really love these and nobody seems to go for them anymore. And I was like, well, I just like the old stuff. Admittedly, my head will probably get hot and I'll want one with vents eventually, but for now it's cold, I don't care. So that is, yeah, it's some big things, some big changes and um, lifestyle introductions and stuff at the house. So I also, tomorrow I have my final, like re not reveal, but the walkthrough with Lauren for the next phase. So honestly, it's, it's really, really exciting for me in terms of like life stuff. And I'm trying to share with you the things in my life that bring me happiness because I just think that the, the work side of things is you know, you, you see all of the work things that I work on. I just want to show you the, the good things that happen day to day in life and sometimes the bad things as well. It's definitely a weekend to stay at home with the animals and make sure that they're settled after we've been away. And so that's kind of what we've been doing most days, just making sure that they're comfortable and loved. And that is what is important to us at the moment. So yes, anyway, I have some bits to take off my list this morning in terms of like watching through videos, finalizing a few things. And then um, I'm going to head to the stables to meet Romeo, which I'm really looking forward to. So let's crack on with the day. If I remember anything else that I've got to tell you, I'm sure I will tell you throughout the day. Anyway, I'm gonna get going because I've got lots to do before I head out. I've just come downstairs and this is a gift from Carrie and her partner. This was the Chateau Neuf de Pape that um, we drank at dinner in Ireland and this is a little thank you from them, which I'm feeling very spoilt with. I can't wait, honestly, I loved this. It's been a long time since I've tried a red where I'm like, oh, I didn't even realize I finished my glass. So I, I feel like I can't drink it, but I want to drink it now. <laughs> I love the bottle of it as well. Part of me, like, I really do appreciate beautiful, like, designed bottles of wine as well. You're very aesthetically driven. Yeah, but this is just beautiful, isn't it? But also tastes absolutely fantastic. So thanks so much. I've opened my card. card too. Oh, when I okay. And the award for the best cross goes to Lydia Millen, and the crowd went wild. <laughs> <laughs> I 
I'm just gonna leave that there. <laughs> oh dear, that does make me laugh. Well, the lads are in and setting up. I haven't actually gone out and spoken to them yet. So I'm gonna go out and give them a quick brief on things that obviously need to stay in the beds because work is about to begin. Oh my goodness. So we are getting rid of the first patch of land that has stones in it, just smoothing it all out. We're gonna seed it so that it just blends in nicer. Well, our driveway is a hot mess at the moment. There are skips, there's boards, but there's one thing that our guys always are is that they're, they're blooming tidy and they don't destroy anything. So this is very exciting. So I'm just getting up the postcode so that I know exactly where to go. I've had some lunch and I've got many layers on. At the moment I've got my, my Lumia. Uh, base layer on with some cashmere base layers from Intimissimi. I've also got a shofal and a this is a is this a dewberry? I think this is a yeah do, this is a dewberry gilet. I've also got my dewberry field coat as well in case I get cold and I've got gloves. I've got my hat. All is good to go. So I'm heading off to meet the new man in my life for a while and I'm a little bit nervous but I feel very lucky that after all of the storms the sun is now shining I feel like this is a little bit of a gift and look at those orbs oh my goodness um I realized I've got a very bad habit of saying oh my goodness but we're just gonna go with that for a while wrapped up warm I've got some beauty bits for the lady that I'm gonna be riding with and I'm just literally I feel a bit nervous I feel like I'm going on a first date <laughs> and um yeah, I think this is just a bit, I'm a bit overwhelmed at the moment and I'm really, really looking forward to this. Well, I definitely look like I've just been out on a hack. Oh my goodness. That was the absolute dream day. I am like blown to smithereens. We had every kind of weather. There was hailstones, there was sunshine, there was winds. It was unbelievable, but I don't think I can quite get my head around. I don't think I could have found a more perfect person to like do this with. She, it's so weird. Like. I wasn't even sure if she was going to let me like film the horses or like take pictures and yet there she was like literally my personal photographer <laughs> she was just taking so many pictures I didn't even have to ask her she was so good oh I had the best morning I had to leave at two because I needed to get some stories up but um it was brilliant absolutely brilliant so I'm heading home now and just absolutely on cloud nine. So I'm gonna go again on Sunday morning and then the following Monday as well. So very, very excited. I am just arriving home. I think I'm behind a trailer carrying some of the oak for our kitchen garden. And I'm gonna to have to have a bit of a look when I get home because uh, I think a lot's been going on and a lot has been delivered. I think Ali has sent me a picture of the champagne crates that have arrived as well. I love that they're champagne crates because I'm a big champagne drinker. Carrie and I take great pleasure in drinking the world dry of champagne. <laughs> So champagne crates for the kitchen garden sound absolutely perfect. Oh, this I'm just I'm having such a lovely day. I'm on cloud nine at the moment and just doing so much stuff that feeds like my soul. And that's what I realize is just so important. Well, we are just taking delivery. Oh my gosh, my champagne buckets. Oh my gosh, look at this oak. Wow. Oh wow, they've already started taking stuff out. <gasps> Holy macaroni. So this was where the trampoline used to be. Um, and we're just going to be basically refilling that and um, grassing it over. Same as over there. And all of these oak pieces are going to be making 
our sleeper beds and this gorgeous champagne bucket or champagne crate is going to be situated oh pardon the wind at this wall here which i think is going to be lovely we are home to a very clean house two happy boys and i have just smoked out the living room unfortunately so it's looking a little bit hazy in here but it is absolutely freezing the temperature's dropped again so um the fire is definitely on and roaring to get it nice and warm in here but yeah you can see the little beams of light where it's still smoky oops <laughs> we have just finished up watching some on amazon prime and i've just tucked both of these two into their beds night boys lumi is in bed with us she's just had a little brush down from her dad we've got fresh seats we will see you in the morning good morning everyone i'm up and dressed and running a little bit late so it's going to be a very quick outfit of the day to introduce a vlog i'm wearing a caramel and skirt in quite possibly the most lydia millen print i've ever seen in my life it's got ferns it's got what looked like hydrangea annabelle all in green on an ivory background i bought the dress as well <laughs> and the shorts for summer but i've teamed it with a cashmere roll neck from novo london and this is such a great cashmere roll neck it's got a really nice tight neck so um, it doesn't flap around uh, at my chin i've also washed my hair for the very first time so you can see the natural kind of like colour come through now. It's a lot softer. There's not quite so much like ash to it. It's got the natural amount of warmth and also like brightened up a little bit, which I love. I also used a new product on my hair, but I would have told you all about this in my hair vlog. I need to get going to Lauren's studio because today is presentation day for phase two. So I'm going to show you as much as I possibly can. We are so incredibly excited. Ali's coming to this one today. So it should be a very, very wonderful morning. Ignore all my tanning mitts behind me because obviously I faked hand. <laughs> There's lovely cookies on the table and you will recognize this. This is my grandma's uh, patchwork quilt. Yeah, I know, she styles it so well. I'm not even gonna look at this section here because I don't want to spoil it. I've fallen in love with this gorgeous pottager table. It is absolutely beautiful. Apparently it's an antique as well. Oh, and I love this. If anyone can tell me where I can get one of these, I absolutely love it. Perfect. Such a gorgeous studio. Horn blend. Wasn't this an option for Ali's office originally? Yeah. <gasps> I loved this one. Very, very excited to see the drama of this room. This is the mood board of our club room in the basement. And this floor excites me so, so much. And to see a little bit of tartan in there, absolutely perfect. <gasps> oh, footstool piping, I love that color. That's almost like a cognac color, isn't it? It's lovely. Oh, it's beautiful. And if I'm right in saying you've used, you have, you've used the fact that, oh, amazing. We've kept it, so perfect. This is the leftover from the carpet in our bedroom. Oh, yeah, is it in storage? Yeah, still in storage, perfect. Love this colour so much. We are just having our lunch at the studio and as you can see here, Lauren has had my grandma's quilt for a couple of a couple of weeks using it in the designs. We've kind of made a little bit of a mess of things at the moment because we've gone through and we've been like, this is what we want to change, we want more of this, we want more of that. But the room that's really, really exciting me is this club room. I just love all of the warmth, like this cognac colour just looks absolutely beautiful for a, uh, that'll be the piping of a footstool really beautiful chocolate leather bar stools this color but what's really exciting me is the floor so we are changing the floor down there to a herringbone uh, terracotta tile and it just looks so so beautiful we've got rugs lovely wool rugs and 
just lots of beautiful warm colors. This is just the dream, I love this. When I saw this I was like, all of the cushions. I want all of the cushions in this. And oh, this is really, really, really exciting. This is the downstairs toilet, which we've decided to um, keep as a, as a bathroom. It's all gonna be wood cladded and this beautiful stone basin. I love this. So lots to, lots to go through, lots to digest and lots and lots of green, which of course I love. Also, I have completely fallen in love with this candle. I have a real thing for basil candles. So I, I know I spoke about it in a previous video when I found the Soho Home candle. No one does the big basil and neroli candle um, from Jo Malone. And this one also smells so similar, but I want a big one. It just smells so delicious. I am in the car. We finished up at Lauren's studio. There's still some changes to to make i have a very very specific idea for a lot of these rooms and a lot of and my color palette is very very specific i obviously love greens and um that is really really what i wanted to incorporate the joinery is also very very important to me so i need some kind of visibility of the actual wood that's going to be used because that's something that is important in the actual overall design of uh, what we do at the moment we have to go in and get budgets like way way down i'm one of those people that like there are certain things that i will spend money on and i think that everyone's like the same you kind of have those like things where you're like i'll spend money on this but i will not spend money on this like, everyone's probably really similar in that so like joinery i will spend money on because it's so important to get it right but things like dressing tables or like console tables I love buying secondhand or antique or reclaimed because I just don't like everything to feel new. So when like a dressing table is specced at like a grand to have something made bespoke, I'm like, no, I would, I want to source that something old, something that's got a bit of character history or whatever. And you're going to get it for like 200 quid. That's for me personally. There are some really, really cool design elements that I'm really happy about with regards to like the snooker table and um, that also being a functional dining table that seats 12 down in the club room, which will be great for poker nights, wine tasting nights, um, hosting Christmas and things like that. The only obvious, and I know everyone's gonna probably feel the same as me, but this, the sad reality is, is that if we were to put a fireplace down there, it wouldn't be able to be in the location that looked best for the room. And at that stage, it's just gonna be a waste of money. Structurally and conveniently, it just can't go where it's supposed to go. And so I think that we just have to accept that that room is never going to have the cozy vibes that I want it to have. If I was building a house from scratch, um, I know now what needs to be done like there and then, but still, I'm gonna show you some of the little pieces that I really, really loved. And I just have to pop together an email now of the things that I want to pull back on budget and also where I want things changed and send images over of what it is that I want. There's been a lot of progress in the garden, so I'm gonna get home and show you that, but I am now gonna to head to the doctors, hopefully get some answers. I'm, I, yeah, I'm not hopeful, but we'll see we shall see. So I am just out of the doctors. I apologize if I've got all of my makeup all over my face, but that was really good. I'm, I'm really happy with how that went. I had a great doctor who actually took it really seriously when I said to him, you know, I don't even know if I'm taking the paracetamol anymore because it's like a habit and I really don't want that. So really good. He did, he basically, I, I said to him about my neck and the tension in my neck and he had a look at my neck and he could literally put his finger on the knots in my back and when he put his finger on it I was like ah oh, and it literally felt the exact same muscular ache as I get in my head so he then showed me a diagram of how different muscles affect the different areas of your body and very much all of these points across my shoulders and my neck showed this purple area over my jaw and my head so really great to have a bit of an understanding, A, that it's muscular and um, not something more sinister because obviously anything to do with headaches is, can always be a little bit worrying. Also, with regards to a line of attack, he's prescribed me something that should help with relaxing the muscles in my shoulders. So I need to be taken, oh, even touching, like, that is literally, oh my God. I've just put my finger on one of the knots there. 
ah, oh, it's like re oh, really bad um, DOMS. And that's definitely linked. So yeah, anyway, I've got some tablets supposed to help with relaxing the muscles and um, we're just gonna take it from there. Hopefully they will, over a period of time, mean that I can stop taking the paracetamol. And hopefully we've got a line of attack because obviously I'm gonna continue having some deep tissue massages, especially across my shoulders. But more than anything, I just want to get back to normal because I feel like I've done so much work to get myself to a really, really good place mentally. And I feel like this is the one area of me that still harbors something that I need to get rid of. And um, maybe it's like the trauma of things that have happened or whatever. I just need to get, I need to sort it out for me. And so I'm glad that I went. I'm glad that like I was pushed to go to the, the doctors and, and stop with my current cycle of doing things. But yeah, I'm gonna head home now and uh, tell Ali the good news basically. And also I might be able to show you a quick update of the kitchen garden because it's looking a little bit uh, sinister, but you know what? I've missed this. I've missed the mess and it all falling apart so that it can come back together really, really beautiful. So yes, I'm going to uh, head home. So just to show you the current state of things, not much has changed, to be honest. I've got Aaron doing a lot of um, care in the garden today. I need to text Harry about this because I was envisioning a much bigger champagne bucket than this one. So I... <laughs> That's Aaron singing that you can hear. <laughs> so I'm going to message them and ask them about that. But all, all except one raised bed has been demolished. The only bed that is still standing is my asparagus bed because I obviously don't want to take my asparagus out because they are bedding in and um, becoming mature. But at the same time, I just don't really know what we're going to do. So not huge amounts of progress in terms of aesthetics but lots of work in terms of getting it all out so hopefully when i see you again i'll be able to give you a big update on this space because the guys are here for a few weeks now so yeah it's all going to be a lot more beautiful around here <laughs> porter <laughs> He gives it all of the big un, and then the moment you turn round, he runs off, look. He's terrible. Look at you silly boys playing with Aaron. So this is all of my parsnips. Like, look at all of these that have come out of the ground. And all of my carrots. These were some autumn carrots that I did. The spinach is not good to go, but we've got a lot of spring onions here. Do you mind? Honestly, he thinks he owns the place. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna try and put these to as much good use as possible. Otherwise, I might see if I can take them to like a food bank or something tomorrow. Um, I'm gonna have to Google what I can do with these. Maybe make some soup or something. But yeah, looks like a blooming farmer's market up here. Well, that is me finishing up for the day. I'm gonna get myself into some comfy clothes. It's Friday and I actually, for the first time in ages, do not have any plans on a Friday. Um, instead, I actually have plans tomorrow. I'm having an Iranian evening with my stepmom and my step cousin. Gosh, it was very blue in here then, wasn't it? But I do have some very, very lovely products to pamper myself with, which I'm very, very excited. I'm gonna do that tonight instead. I'm gonna pour myself a glass of wine and have a pamper with the most beautiful products from Aurelia. This was a brand that I think I really stupidly had overlooked until I went to time and had quite possibly one of the most wonderful massages and treatments I've had in a long time. And from there I went and purchased some of the Aurelia products. Um, I think I purchased them from Cult Beauty. I got their pillow mist, which is the most beautiful pillow mist. So I got the restorative body cream wash, which also, do you know what I really, really appreciate is the elegance of their packaging. How gorgeous and elegant is that? It's just a beautiful blush with a, with a gold border. This one is Baobab, ooh, hibiscus. Oh wow, I can't wait to use that. <gasps> Literally smells like a spa treatment. Then I also went for the Balance and Purify Citrus Cleanser. I love, love, love a foaming cleanser, so I got that. Topped up, ooh, 
a brightening botanical face mist. This I am very, very excited about. Designed to reduce cellular damage, promote the production of collagen, hyaluronic acid for plump, dewy skin that glows. That is a bit of me. I hope it smells lovely as well. Oh, good mist. Oh, I love the smell of that as well. This is the kind of thing that I would decant into a little travel bottle. I get them from Amazon, but to have a beautiful mist with you in your handbag, that's what I always do. I absolutely love that. And then, obviously went for all of the glowing things. So I went for the Balance Glow Day Oil and the Revitalize Glow Day Serum. I'm gonna have a pamper this evening. I will pop these in the description box down below for you because they arrived today and I am very, very excited by them. Um, and just think the brand is gorgeous. Really, really gorgeous. So anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this video. A lot of kind of like homey stuff in this, so I hope that's all right. Um, and I will have linked to this skirt in the description box down below as well. I got so many compliments on it, um, which is always nice, isn't it? When you're walking around and someone says, do you know what? You've got a lovely outfit on today. I was like, thanks. <laughs> so I'll see you guys in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.